weird angle. <laughs> Dude, let's just do it by the tree. <laughs> Our classes is like study gift kind of thing, right? So one kid will get a gift and then they have to pass that forward. So like they'll get a gift for someone else. And then it keeps going until everyone in the class gets something. So I got one today and I'm going to show you guys what I got. Ooh, what is this? Godiva chocolate domes. I've never heard of this before. Also, I like dark chocolate, so this is good. Um, and then, oh, there's, there's more candy. Then I got some Starburst. And then I got some- Gummy bears! Haribo gummy bears. And then I got- <laughs> Ooh. And some Sour Patch. I'm literally stocked for the next year. A year? Yeah, I'm gonna eat one a day. Do you want to say anything to my vlog? To follow your TikTok account? No, don't or shout out my TikTok. <laughs> Brittany's your... very mean to me. <laughs> no. Or your Instagram. Tell Brittany to come visit me in California. Okay, bye. I should have vlogged that we went to Smokehouse, but I literally ate all my food. <laughs> you have the vertical and whatever video. And this is Serena's food, and she got cornbread. What's the verdict? How is the food? Cornbread tastes like crusties. So good. Uh, they gave me a lot of meat. What would you rate it on a scale from one to ten? Six. Ten? Hits the spot, but it's it's just okay. Yeah. What about you? Um, it was a little dry. Kind of tasted Chipotle. It was better when they came to our school and like did that table mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, I don't know. Owners are very nice, but they yeah. make it worth going. Yeah. I ripped it, but look how cool this is when it opens. Yo, this is like the worst, right? It doesn't even like waste any cardboard. I thought it would. All right, goodbye. Wow. <laughs> Today is Friday. We had a review session for our last exam on Monday. But aside from that, there was nothing much else. So I went to Trader Joe's today and I picked up a bunch of stuff. So I just want to give you a little haul before I go back to studying. I currently have all of my papers and highlighters and stuff here with the matcha. Here is the first thing that I got. You guys know that I have the study gift thing, study surprise, right? So I have to pay that forward. And because I was going to Trader Joe's, I just thought like, why not get something from there? So I picked up these cocoa truffles and they look pretty cool. So I'm excited to give him those. I have a classmate um, who I have to give this to. And then I'm also getting like a bunch of other stuff, but I don't know where I'm getting that from yet. And then I also picked up these. These are new, I believe. At least I've never seen them before. Cold brew popsicles. My sister really wanted them, so I got that for her. I got this tzatziki um, creamy garlic cucumber dip. This was so good last time. I, I literally devoured that and I don't even know how long. And then I also got my sister these white truffle popcorn things that she already ate. I got these, which is organic elote corn chip dippers. They're so good and addicting. Like if you get these, I'm so sorry that I put them on to you, but they're really, really good. Hi guys, I'm studying for my last exam of the semester. I promise you I'm not bald. I have my hair up in a bun and now I'm going to make a Quizlet with all of the information that needs to be put into the head. That's what I'm doing now. I also got a cleaning today, so my teeth are very, very clean. And then I'm getting my COVID vaccine booster on Monday after the exam. So I'll probably film that. I'll try because I think last time I couldn't even film it, but I'll try this time. Hey guys, so I picked up the rest of the stuff that I was going to give for the study surprise. So I just wanted to show you guys the rest of it. Aside from the cocoa truffles, I'm also giving this energy drink called Guru. I heard good things about it, so hopefully it tastes okay. And then I got this like Christmas cup and then I put some chocolate and two packets of hot cocoa in there. So hopefully my classmate thinks that this is a nice study surprise. We, all we finished our last exam for the semester and 
Um, now we're having a Christmas sweater party thing, but it's not really a party. <laughs> no, it's a contest showing up in Christmas sweaters. Yeah, but Serena didn't even wear anything. I left it at home. SMH. I left it at home. <sighs> yep. That's it. Something I thought of though. last like, words for the vlog? What if I bought like a blue sweater mm -hmm. and then just taped just a slide important. from lectures on there That's oh my so gosh <laughs> why would you do that because people say they got like ptsd from seeing the blue slides uh-huh it can be traumatizing that's a form of ugliness all right do you have any last words um see you in 2022 yep bye <laughs> So my friend gave me this, they're called Genki Forest Sparkling Waters. They're like seltzer water, but I guess they're flavored. And it's a Japanese brand. So it comes with a yogurt flavor, grape and lychee. So I'm going to try the yogurt one. I gave a lychee one to my sister and she said that it was pretty good. Anything that's carbonated, always tap the sides to get the bubbles away like i think a lot of people tap the top but i learned on tiktok that to really get rid of the bubbles you tap on the sides oh. it smells good that is so good i'm literally shocked guys if you've never tried this definitely give this a try there is something that i want to show you guys my friend made this ornament for me and a couple of my friends using her Cricut and I thought it was so cute so I just wanted to show you guys. This is the ornament that she made. It's like printed with my name and the stethoscope and the year and PA student on a like little acrylic ornament thing. It's so cute. <laughs> Eating sushi. Oh my God. So good. We ate a lot already though. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could order more. Not gonna lie. I had any breakfast this morning. All right, so there's a white elephant party at church for the like the kids and i chose this i don't know what it is it's a squishmallow of some sort um and his name is francisco, francisco. so hopefully the kids like this apparently if it's mad it turns into a basketball yeah. <laughs> okay whatever that means and then ashley got me something it's, it's nothing it's, big what is this I like the wrapping. Thanks. It's wrapped very nicely. I'm a pro at wrapping. Is it hand cream? Yeah. <gasps> Whoa. I hope you like the scent. Ooh, that smells good. Do you like it? Can I yeah. smell it? Hmm. It smells good. It's like rose water. Yeah. I like it. Thanks. Thank you, Ashley. Of course. I'll vlog when I give you yours. <laughs> Yeah. When I'm wearing the dress and yes. all. Yes. <laughs> so see you in a dress. Okay, I'll change my I'll change it right right there. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, have you ever gone shopping and then been left by a dad? Like I don't even know where he is. And look how much is in the cart. It's so heavy. <sighs> Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing because I bought something from Etsy and it just came in the mail. It's a little like BTS button and I thought it was really cute. So I decided to get it to put in my book bag. The Etsy shop name I think is called JMO Creates. On the back, there's like a little J-Hope sticker, which I thought was really cute. Thank you so much for purchasing from my shop. I hope you enjoy the pin. And this is the pin. There you go. It's JK's tattoos. So I feel like it's subtle enough where it's not like BTS, but if you were a fellow army, you would understand. And then she gave me some stickers. Okay, so here's her card. If you guys want to check out her Etsy store and then on the back, a photo of JK. Hey guys, so aside from the pin that I got from Etsy, for my bag i got a gift for a friend on etsy as well and she's a collector of pins and she's also a bts fan so here's the little pin it's of j-hope and chimin it's either j-hope and chimin or j-hope and 
Tangle. But here's the pin. It looks very, very nice. I'm very happy. Hey guys, so um, I was gonna get ready today because I'm hanging out with my friend Jessica and I thought I might as well use this time to like answer some questions that always get commented on on my YouTube videos. I feel like this channel has grown a lot since I've put up my PA vlogs. So now I know what you guys really like to watch. I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to look at the camera when I'm talking and not at the screen. Someone is asking me how I studied in PA school, which I filmed that video and I'm currently editing it, so it's coming. And I plan to upload that one before the new year, so it should be coming any day now. Okay, this is a good question. I wanted to pursue the profession PA, but they weren't sure if they wanted to commit to Hofstra's direct entry or just go the normal route, which is four years undergrad and then the PA program. So they basically were asking, is there a huge difference between the direct entry and the traditional way of applying. I can only speak from my experience in the direct entry program because that's what I've been through. I do have a lot of friends in the program who went through four years of undergrad and then did the two years master thing that we're doing right now. So from my understanding, the traditional way of applying is like you just finished your undergrad, do whatever major minor you want. Just make sure that you take your prerequisite courses so your biochem, chemistry, orgo, everything like that. And then you apply to PA school. Thing that I will say is that if you're applying the traditional route, it may be harder to get into the professional phase because you are competing with a thousand, two thousand other applicants to get in. If you apply to the direct entry program and you get in, you technically have a spot saved for you. As long as you keep up your GPA and like your grades and stuff like that and you're not in academic standing of any sort, you essentially have a spot in the graduate phase. So that's why I would say I personally loved the undergrad part going into the graduate because I truly feel like it had prepared me well in terms of the rigor of the courses. I'm so sorry, I'm literally sitting right next to the heater and that's why you hear like this screeching sound. I think you save a lot more money doing the direct entry route because your fourth year, which is technically your first year of undergrad, but you're a senior in college, um, you pay undergraduate pricing for your first year of graduate school, which saves you a lot of money considering the fact that um, Hofstra is a private university and then for the graduate courses you don't get financial aid and you pay per credit and we take a lot of credits in the graduate phase so I don't know the exact numbers but you do save some money compared to the applicants that apply traditionally which like saving any type of money is better than saving none. Those are the two reasons why I would highly recommend the program. So someone asked, if I have a low SAT score but a 4.0 GPA and good leadership roles, do you think my SAT score will bring my application down or should I still apply regardless of my SAT score? I am not on the admissions committee for my school so I really can't tell you like what parts of your application may or may not be beneficial. But I will say that the program does not solely care about SAT score. Um, they really look at everything in conjunction. So if you're applying with your SAT score and your GPA and your leadership roles, like I think as long as one of them is very strong, um, that you're okay. You don't really need to be a 4.0 student with a 1600 SAT score and like be the president of the student government at your school. All of these things look very nice, but in general, they just want someone who is willing to work hard. The program is not easy and they don't want 
to accept people who like, they feel are gonna drop out at any moment because then that spot could have gone to someone else. Honestly, I'm in the graduate phase right now and I cannot even remember what my SAT score is. I'm not even joking. I don't remember what it is that just goes to show you that like that score means nothing once you're in the program that score means nothing to them they don't care that you had a 1600 because someone with that sat score could just be a really good test taker in like high school math and english but what about all the science courses that you need to take like it doesn't equate to you being a good student or like a good pa in the future so i wouldn't harp on that score too much Ta-da! And then I'm gonna take out my hair just to show you guys, but I curled it this morning. I bet you guys have never seen me with curled hair before. Ta-da! Look who I'm with! We're doing our gift exchange. Oh, I almost dropped my phone. <laughs> our annual gift exchange. I'm having cookies, rice cakes, um, rice balls. It's really good. It's really good. And some fried assortments. Yeah. Are you ready to open your gift? Like destroy it, yeah. So it's not like too long. Is it? I don't know. Oh, no. You think Macy's wouldn't have a phone? <laughs> True. Oh no way! Really? Uh -huh. That's crazy. I wouldn't have expected because for me their customer service was really good. No, it was. Yes. Jessica, I'm telling you, I like literally emailed them and they would not respond. Ooh, I love it. It's great. Like legit would not respond for two weeks. Is it fit? Should yeah, fit. It does fit. Oh, yeah. that's so nice. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm ready. It's like multiple. <laughs> Dude, I really want it because like this. Wait, you know how like, we saw them in H&M? Yeah, that's why I thought yeah. of it. But look at the each individual one. Dude, I am so excited. I don't know what styles you want. Okay, because there was there were like six, but then it was like over budget, so then I also wanted one, mm -hmm. so I took I took like two. But... Okay, this was like the one that I like wanted. Yeah, I yeah. knew you really wanted that style, so. Yay, thank you. You actually got them? Yeah. Dude. I don't know if you'll like them though. Why? It comes with a laundry bag, so you can wash it like in the laundry, I think. I don't know Show the camera what it is. Oh, you can explain what it is. Okay, so they're like reusable cotton rounds, right? Yeah. They look like this. They're like terry cloth. Wait, feel it. Did you feel it before? No. It's like really soft. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So now it can be eco-friendly. And we love that. Color. We yeah. love that. Dude. I'm so excited. I like totally forgot to ask you about these. And then... <laughs> I needed the wood piece. <laughs> Yay! Dude, I'm so excited. Yay! Yeah, I love everything. 